it seems the NSA has now shifted its focus to, you guessed it, diversity, equity, and inclusion. The NSA has compiled possibly the most expansive glossary of DEI terms the world has ever seen. Why is the NSA creating a glossary of woke terms? The glossary itself states, quote, this glossary and its definitions provide a starting point for engaging in open and honest conversation, and it's a tool meant to build shared language and understanding. Let's take a look at what this shared language and understanding actually sounds like. These are the terms. White fragility, white privilege, white supremacy, even whiteness, which the report that the NSA put out defines as, quote, a broad social construction that embraces the white culture, history, ideology, radicalization, expressions, experiences, emotions, and behaviors, all in order to reap material, political, economic, and structural benefits for those socially deemed white. What does it mean to be socially deemed white? I, I thought that the color of your skin was an immutable trait. But now the NSA is putting reports together saying if you're deemed socially white, anything you do is, has got to be viewed through this lens of the advancement of one group of people at the expense of another. When the reality is the United States of America has been a platform for people of all kind and color and creed to advance. And so what the NSA is pushing is a load of insane, bigoted nonsense. These are just a few of the 327 social justice terms listed in their glossary. Transmisogyny, they describe as the intersection of transphobia and misogyny. The irrational fear of, aversion to, or discrimination against transgender people. Transmisogyny is often directed at trans women in particular. The NSA has now taken it upon themselves to decide that men can now be misogynistic to other men. What a breakthrough. Your tax dollars at work. Meanwhile, China and Russia beating us on hypersonics, but we figured out that men can be misogynist to men. As insane as it is, it's dangerous, and the NSA owes the American people an explanation. We can't let this continue. History is fraught with mass hysteria like this, and sadly, the good guys don't always win. We need to put an end to it before we figure out what it looks like when the CRT regime is lashed to the most exquisite spying and surveillance tools that have ever existed on the planet Earth.